Welcome back, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Um, this is your September energy. What's popping? What's going on? Let me know in the comments. I miss you guys so much. A crossover loved one is speaking to you through signs and synchronicities, okay? So for those of you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury, welcome back. Yes, that is an urgent message for you. And we also have, you deserve to cry because you've been through a lot. So, oh, wow. Very heavy energy, very heavy. Um, let's just see what else wants to come through for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wow, you are free to release the pain and regret of the past. So I definitely um, feel like someone from your past, this really could be someone who has... Um, who has passed over, okay? That's for some of you. Um, wow. They will pay you very well for your time and your gifts, okay? So some of you have been dealing with maybe being really great at something and not getting paid for your work. Overworked and underpaid. I'm definitely seeing the Seven of Pentacles in my mind's eye for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm. So, someone definitely could be trying to bait you into talking about someone else. So, you're being guided to just like not talk about other people, okay? Let's get into I'm just feeling guided to go right into um the tarot and just see like what's coming. Okay, you are free to release the pain and regret. So, um you deserve to cry because you've been through a lot. So what are you overcoming right now? What are you overcoming? Judgment. Judgment. Rejection. Fear of rejection. Fear of rejection. Oh my gosh. Okay. And honestly, feeling like you didn't... You should have made a different turn. Like you made the wrong decision. Thumbs up from my spirit team. Okay. To me right now. Thank you so much. Let's see. Tell me more. Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> right now, it's like people expect you to be on top. They expect you to have so much. They expect you to be so successful. They don't know how hard you had to work to get to where you are. Okay, you worked so hard. You literally changed yourself. You went through so many spiritual awakenings and so many spiritual transformations. What's coming towards you is this Queen of Pentacles energy. After so much, so much tra cha transformation, um, definitely really strong Libra, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Any of those energies could be surrounding you right now. Let's just see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards you with this two of pentacles. I'm definitely getting, having a healthy balance between love and life. Ooh, and leaving the past behind. Somebody is definitely leaving the past behind, okay? Someone knows that they didn't win. Look at this, the magician. Okay, really strong Gemini energy coming through. A lot of transformational energy, a lot of alchemizing, a lot of time and effort. Someone is coming towards you, you know, with great communication. If you've been feeling blocked in terms of communication, blocked in terms of getting what you want, I mean, it's like, if you've been feeling like once one foot forward and then and then two steps back, this is your reading, okay? That energy is over with. You're creating balance. You're taking control. Whatever you wished on a star, whatever you wished and you hoped for is coming true and it has something to do with your communication, okay? Someone from your childhood could be involved in this situation. I'm not saying that it has to be um, five of wands in reverse. I just kind of feel like 
you can let your guards down. And it's hard for you to do that. I'm hearing it's hard for you to do that because of what you experienced in the past. And someone cares about how someone sees them. But at the end of the day, keep focusing on yourself and what you want. And don't be afraid to try something new. Okay? Um, let's see what's, what's happening in September when it comes to your love life. When it comes to love and romance specifically okay well <laughs> um for some of you you're like i don't even care about that let's just get some more information hold on let's try this one more time some of you are revisiting love some 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 of you are revisiting um and it's working you know it's definitely working what you're revisiting some of you are ending relationships and as soon as you let one relationship go here with this 10 of swords there is that true love right there it's undeniable some of you have an undeniable connection with someone um some of you are in denial about this some of you, you okay mostly see this person at night how are you gonna know this person you're gonna know this person because you talk to them at night you met them at night something about the nighttime the something about stars astrology ast astronomy um you guys could share some common knowledge yes i love it mm, i just got a yes from my spirit guides thank you so much all right from my angels letting me know what's up yes so at night and also the color blue the color gold or gold could be significant um a surprise event could be significant the color white could be significant and anyways yeah so this is coming up in, for love some of you could be meeting this person at night especially if this is someone new if this is someone you've been with for a while this person's pretty much crazy about you uh, again 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 with this ten of swords if you've ever hurt this person or you've ever had any issues with them or if this is someone new coming in they're gonna heal that energy if you've been heartbroken by this person or by someone from your past someone's coming in to heal that energy and i keep hearing at night i don't know why i feel so pressured to say at night all right maybe someone was born at night i don't know in the evening time maybe someone's watching this someone's a night out please let me know in the comments who this resonates for someone's about to introduce you to to their parents someone feels like you are marriage material and um if this is a business venture, I'm, I'm feeling guided to say, yeah, maybe this could be business, but I am looking into romance. This could be a romantic business venture. This is legacy energy. It's giving me um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Unexpected pregnancy. I'm hearing that as well. So take that how it resonates. Yeah, this person could be secretly thinking about... Um, starting a family if you don't want to have children don't be surprised if you might end up having a child and or getting pregnant or um don't be surprised if the person you're with yeah i'm just saying that's what i'm seeing for cancer pisces scorpio and just just keep your eyes open I feel like this, whatever is the shocking news or information that's going to come through for you in the month of September, it's going to be something that is a wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. Okay. Because that's definitely your energy here with the, with the nine of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yes. Okay. So don't be afraid. Trust your intuition. I'm always saying that because that's all we got right um let's see the person on your mind you could be currently with this person this could be someone that you're manifesting let's just see what kind of what kind of stuff they want to say to you what kind of things what kind of thoughts <laughs> what kind of psychic messages are they open all right to you receiving 
about this connection. This could be something that you already know, that they've already said, or that you intuitively feel is 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 happening in your connection. Okay, for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ooh. Okay, this could be an on again, off again connection, and the reason why I was gonna say because we have no in reverse and look at that. yes and no like i've never seen this before this is your reading there is like no doubt about this i can't this person is hot and cold this person cannot really be trusted with their words all right i mean I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle this deck. What the what? I've never seen this before. This person cannot be trusted, okay? This person says no, and then they say yes, but I think it's because of control. I, why is this person like this? Now, let's go back to the tarot. Let me just get one more clarification, because it's a lot right now. What? Why is this person hot and cold with... I am absolutely in love with you. For some of you, this person, maybe they've never been in love before. Maybe they... <sighs> this was a friend that turned into something serious because this could be a childhood crush or a long-term on-again, off-again. This is definitely a soulmate. Or there could be friends or other people that are involved in this. And this is a really delicate situation, okay? But this person, the reason they're hot and cold is because they are absolutely in love with you. What else do they want to say? So even if they're saying no to you, this person most definitely means yes, okay? So be patient with them. Do you even care? This person is insecure and it's hard for them to trust their intuition and to ground their energy. So you need to be most definitely um, grounded in your energy and your choices and your decisions, okay? Really showing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through as well as Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. All right, Taurus energy coming through. Let's see. Let's get one more card for what they want to say. Um, look at that. Taurus energy. The Hierophant energy. Um, seek professional advice. This person's definitely talking to friends and family about you. Um, if you guys are, you know, really thinking about being serious and taking things to the next level, this person is speaking to their friends and their family about this connection. Um, they care what other people think. They care a lot. This person could be in therapy. This person could feel like, um, Therapy is a necessity in order for them to have a fulfilling relationship, okay? Um, this person can feel like they need you to slow down. And the only reason, reason I'm saying that, this is for if you are going really fast. Flip it how it resonates. If your person is going really fast, you can feel like they need to slow down. And maybe they're tripping. Maybe they're crazy, right? But however, it's like this person feels like they need professional help or advice and they before they make a decision this could be someone who has a lot of friends or really strong solid um religious belief systems or just their own personal this person could have been single for a long time and or, or divorce and now it's like it's a really big deal to be committed this is possibly what's going to be coming towards you in the month of september if this resonates with you please let me know in the comment section let's get some advice 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 from the angels and see let's get some advice from the angels and the higher frequency light beings of the universe, the pure positive energy, the God source energy. Let's see what advice. Mm. Okay, some of you <laughs> could possibly be being over overly sensitive about something, okay? Um, 
maybe holding back from uh, okay focusing on your focusing on your dreams and your goals rather than you know what I'm saying can I say SEX I don't even know what I can say on YouTube these days I don't even know I've not been online for a long time okay guys so i don't know what is appropriate and what is inappropriate i'm just channeling messages don't shoot the messenger but i feel like yeah they're calling you to be conscientious of who you give your spiritual energy to um stability is coming towards you someone's gonna be focused on you and no one else someone you think is only focused on one thing is technically focused on you um or can't stop focusing on you i had to move that card because it's something about it just didn't feel right i hope this video doesn't get caught up all right i hope you guys get to see this because this is literally like the second time I've had to do pants or Pisces Scorpio. So you guys could be feeling blocked when it comes to love, all right? That's another thing with advice. Know that you deserve love. Say things like, the person of my dreams can't wait to meet me, marry me, and fall in love with me, right? Um, can't wait to meet me, fall in love with me, and marry me if you want to get married, right? The person of your dreams is just around the corner. Someone's thinking about you. Someone feels like you are stability. Someone wants stability, and someone wants to give you stability. Oh my goodness. Mercury retrograde. <laughs> this is towards the end. I'm so grateful that it's almost over. Let's get some more psychic messages for advice from the melanin and romance. Oh, I knew that this, okay, this really wants to come out, so tender touch. Okay, love is coming your way. Someone, like, someone who wants to cuddle with you, okay? If you're worried about being alone in the winter time, you're, you're not going to be. Don't worry about being alone. Transformation, yes. You have changed. Change your mind. Change your future. Okay? Time is an illusion. You are living in a simulation. What is a simulation? <laughs> Ooh, oh my goodness. Someone wants to kiss you. You do not have to play your cards so close to your chest. Okay? You don't have to try so hard. Everything comes to you naturally. Okay? Let's get one more. One more for advice. Trust your better judgments. Know that you're right in this situation. You're going to receive justice. If someone has done you wrong, just know that the universe is going to handle it. Your angels are going to handle it. Your spirit guides are going to handle it. You don't have to do anything. Like, you have some really strong spiritual forces behind you because a crossover loved one is speaking to you through signs and synchronicities, okay? Um, some of you, this could have to do with the justice system, but anyway, yeah, your advice is to know that you're not, you don't have to fight your battles. The universe and God and source and the angels are going to fight your battles for you. You're going to be justified, okay? Especially if you were wrongly accused for something or if someone, you know, was trying to act like you weren't on top of your game. You weren't capable of being a loving partner. All the everything that's in the dark is gonna come to the light. So you're being guided to allow your angels and your spirit guides in the universe to fight your battles for you. Okay, that's all I have for today. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'll see you soon. Until next time. Just breathe with me. Stay in your body. See you soon.